guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a haul for you. Most of these products I actually bought for myself for Christmas and I built them up over a couple of months before Christmas. Things that I would have bought anyway and put them to one side and kept them and then on Christmas day opened them up and I kind of surprised myself a little bit because I forgot about the things that I got. I've explained all of this and why I did this in my what I got for Christmas video so I'll leave that down below just to cut this video just a little bit shorter. So I'm going to start with my Ted Baker set which is behind me. If you saw my what I got for Christmas video I showed a case that Blake's mum got me which had loads of Ted Baker makeup in. When I went to Boots with my friend Hannah which you'll have saw in other videos and I've done videos of her. This set was in there and it was reduced from £50 to £25 and it's stunning. It comes like this. Oh, I forgot about this inside. <laughs> and when you open it up, it has like a little pouch up here. That's not meant to be in there. <laughs> and then inside you get two body washes which look like these. I have showed these in vlogs as well, so that vlogs up, I will leave it linked down below. Two body lotions, two bubble baths, and then also a hand cream as well. And they smell phenomenal. And for £25, the case alone is gorgeous enough for £25. So to get all them goodies inside it as well, such a good bargain. Another absolute bargain that I got is a camera pack for my camera. So I'm currently on my camera at the moment. And basically what this is, is from my Canon 650D and it's from the brand Newer. And normally these cost 80 odd pound if you get them from like PC World, Curry's, that kind of place. The both the same shop, Lucy. <laughs> It's like £80. I got this for £12 off eBay and what it basically is, is a battery pack that goes on the bottom of your camera so that you can change your camera without having to first of all take it off your tripod, you can just slide it in and out but second of all you can also have two camera batteries in one so that your camera will last longer as well and this is the first time I've used it to record videos today and it has been a lifesaver. It has lasted so long I've not had to reposition my camera, take off my tripod and all that palaver. Like I said in a vlog, I don't know if that's going to be up yet because I've recorded so many videos recently. If you'd like me to do a upgrade in my YouTube kind of video and showing you all of the equipment that I've got recently and what I use for my videos and stuff like that, please let me know because I know when I was starting up or even now I love watching them kind of videos because you learn so many tips and tricks and things that can save you a hell of a lot of time and money as well. Another thing that kind of links into that is my tripod. And I got this Gorilla Tripod off eBay for three or four pounds. And this is amazing. It's really good because it adjusts and you can change the legs and everything so you can have it at different angles and attach it to different things and have your camera on it. This is my vlogging camera, which is the Sony A5000, which is also in my what well, I got for a Christmas video. But it's absolutely amazing because you can adjust it and once again, when I went in PC World, this was 15 to 20 pounds, so absolute bargain as well. Something else that I also picked up was the Freedom Pro HD Brow Palette, which has six eyebrow powder duos, four stencils, a highlighter, an arch and handsome wax, and an eyebrow brush as well. Another bargain, I've been on the bargain kick recently, from Boots, is this Origins set, which you've seen on my Snapchat, if you follow me on Snapchat, it's a loose Stevenson with an X on the end, and this was £7.50, and you get the face wash, the charcoal mask, the dermabrasion, and then a moisturiser at the end as well. Something that wasn't really a bargain is the iPhone 6S. I've just recently treated myself to it. I only actually picked it up yesterday, so it's still got all of the packaging and everything on it. And I'm leaving all of this on until my case gets delivered. I went for the gold one. Really hard decision between the rose gold and the gold. But I went for the gold one in the end, and I'm really, really happy that I did. And it is currently 25 past 2, in case you're wondering. <laughs> so you'll be seeing a lot more Snapchats off me because the camera quality on the iPhone 6S is so much better than the iPhone 4S, which is one that I had. And I was totally in need for an upgrade because I've had the same phone now for four years and it turned itself off. It likes to turn the screen off, but I think else is still going off. So if I get a text, it still likes to go off, but buttons broke at the top. So it was definitely time for a new phone. I definitely use that one as much as I can. So a new phone was definitely needed. Something that I need to get, like, I actually signed myself up to their waiting list for it to come back in stock so that I took the money straight out of my bank account. 
and that is the Tartlet in Bloom palette and I got this from QVC and I actually did my maths on this because I thought oh I'll probably end up doing a Sephora order soon so maybe I should wait and get it from Sephora. It's the exact same price buying it from Sephora as it is buying from QVC UK. The difference is with QVC you get a brush which is worth £20 whereas on Sephora you don't get a brush. So of course I ordered it from QVC and it looks like this. It is stunning. I've used four colours out of it so far um, for a night out. The shimmery ones, they're alright, they're not really the best. That, that was what I was most excited for, the shimmery colour here. But it's not really the best. I definitely want to pick up some of the Makeup Geek foiled eyeshadows because nothing I've tried ever looks like pictures that I've saw people using the Makeup Geek ones. So definitely want to pick them up but so so happy with that. And it comes again with a little card with different looks to do on it. And then the brush that you get with it is the Tarte Rule Bender Double Ended Eyeshadow Brush. So it has like your flat shade brush kind of thing at the bottom or the top, whatever you really want to hold it. And then it bends up and it has like your kind of crease brush. Once again, haven't tried this yet because I wanted to do a video on it first. I'm very, very excited to see what it's like having that angle on it, see whether that makes any difference because I know Real Techniques are bringing out some brushes soon that are going to have angles on them so I'm looking forward to seeing what the difference is. Something that I picked up from Tarte as well, which also came with a brush, QVC are really good because you get like extra things that you wouldn't normally get if you bought it, say for instance from Sephora or anything like that. I got the Tarte Christmas blush set and it's basically, I've not used this, it did come a little bit battered, but it has four of the Amazonian clay blushes. It's the deluxe Amazonian clay blush set. And when you take it out, it looks like this. And you get obviously these four colours. The packaging represents what the colours are like, so I won't show you them up close because my camera, unfortunately, doesn't focus. <laughs> it's not intelligent enough for that. So yeah, I can't wait to try this out. And the brush that you get with it is like this blush, brush here which just looks like this, and their brushes are really, really soft. So I'm looking forward to trying them out. Something that I can't wait to try is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. And I got this off Sephora. I got the little mini version because it comes with a puff, and I really wanted a puff, and I just wanted to see what it was like as well. So it looks like this, and then you get a little puff. And as you can see, I have tried it a little bit. I tried it for my birthday night out, which was the 19th of December, so it's like the 20th of January now. So it's been like over a month since the first time that I've tried it. And I'm really, really excited to try it again. I was a little bit disappointed when I tried it, but I think I need to try it with a different brush. I don't think this is the best thing to apply it with. So I think I might get a sponge and just try it with a sponge instead. Something else that everybody raves about is the Becca Opal Highlighter. This is the Becca Glow in the Go Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal. And this is also from Sephora. I got this online when me and Hannah made an order back in like December. And you get the Shimmering Skin Perfector Spotlight Opal which is the liquid and you get the Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Opal which is obviously the pressed powder one. Something else that was like a really good bargain was one of the YSL Rouge Couture Kiss and Love Edition Lipstick, it's the limited edition one, in the number 13 which is the orange one. I did get the purple one off the plate for Christmas but this was in the Christmas sale for half price I believe and then I also got my staff discount because I bought it when I was still working for House of Fraser and I'll show you what it looks like. Once again it has the kisses on it as well. It looks really really orangey red but it is really really orange in person and it has little kiss marks on it as well on the actual tube and then on the packaging. So really really stunning and I haven't tried any of these out because I wanted to do a haul on them all first. And I was going to include them in my what I got for Christmas video. But that video is like going to be ridiculously long. So I thought I'd just do a separate haul instead. Something else from Sephora. I got one of the Sephora cream lip stains. And this is in the number 7. Haven't actually tried this yet. Like I said, I haven't tried anything yet. I have tried the colour on my back of my hand. I got one and I think Hannah, yeah Hannah got two. And I got one. And I'm really excited. Hannah said it's really long lasting. So I'm really excited to try that out. Next thing is something that was out a few months ago. And it is the NARS Gloss because I don't really have much NARS stuff which is probably why I really wanted this set because I really wanted to try it out. Inside you get the little brochure showing you what's obviously inside here and in this set you get a mini audacious mascara, you get the larger than life long wear eyeliner in the shade Via Ven Veneto. You also get 
a satin lip pencil in the shade Brickugian. I'm not even going to try and say that. I will leave all these down below so you can know all the names. There is also a multiple in the shade Orgasm and then also a mini blush in the shade Orgasm as well. So whilst I'm still on the topic of NARS, something else that I've got that I really wanted to try out is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. And this is in the shade Light Foot Diaville. And the packaging for this is stunning. I haven't tried it yet. I also wanted to see if you wanted a first impression on any of these products. So I didn't really want to try them. I think and by the time this video is up, I probably will have tried some of these stuff by then. This is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. So excited to try that. A set that I picked up for myself for Christmas is by Maybelline and it's their Dare to Go Nude Nude Perfection Set. And I really wanted this because I really wanted this lipstick and I've been wanting this lipstick now since... It was definitely way before Halloween that I wanted this lipstick colour and it's the Stripped Nude Colour Sensational Lipstick in a tantalising top and it is a stunning lip colour. I've been eyeing it up for ages now and I've been really really wanting it so I thought it's £6 or £7 and this kit by itself was £10 so I thought I'm getting a brow drama in transparent. You get a colour tattoo in creamy beige which I really want to try out because I think it could possibly be like the... MAC Paint Pots, which I haven't got any, but I'd love to try. So I think that would be really good to try out. It's like a base for your eyeshadow. And you also get a nude nail varnish as well, which is the Colour Show Nail Varnish in Latte, which looks like this. I'm really, really excited to try this, and I can't wait to see what the other products are like. And for like three or four pound more to get all them kind of things, such a good bargain. Another absolute bargain that I got is the Stila One Step Bronze Illuminating Bronzing Serum. It looks like this. It should really be all pretty and spirally, but because I got mine from TK Maxx, it isn't. It's a little bit smashed up. It's never been used, so it's brand new, which is quite rare to get in TK Maxx because a lot of people end up like trying it out and stuff. But I got the one right from the back and got a brand new one. And this cost me £6. And I was eyeing this up in Max and Spencer's makeup haul, like their beauty haul. And I put them back in my hand when I was with Blake's mum and I was like, oh my god, this is stunning. Like, this is absolutely gorgeous. And she put it on as well and she's like, oh my god, that is really, really nice. And it was £24 and I was like, oh, I'll just leave it. I might buy myself it for Christmas um, when I've got a bit more money kind of thing. And then I saw it in TK Maxx and I was like, for £5.99? You are mine. It might even be four ninety nine. I know it was like four, five, six pound around that kind of range. Something else that was an absolute bargain. I'm really, really loving my bargains recently. Is this brush? This cost me ninety nine p off eBay, and it probably looks really, really funny to you. And this is the eight seven six brush. I got me one, and I got Hannah one for Christmas as well for her to try. So I knew she'd be like, "Oh my god, what is this?" And it is super, super soft. It's one of them brushes that everyone's talking about at the moment. I've just watched Casey Holmes do a video on the massive version of it, like the foundation brush. So I thought I'm going to try and get a cheaper version of it. So this one is for concealer for underneath the eyes. You could really use it for anything if you want to do. You could use it to contour or put some highlight on or liquid blusher or anything like that or powder or anything like that. But I can't wait to try this out. You know I love my brushes from eBay. I will be doing a video on that soon if it isn't already up. Don't worry. Something else from eBay is this anti overflow glue. And you probably saw this when people are doing like nail art videos. And basically it's just glue in a pot. It's kind of like a bit of a um, scam. <laughs> but basically you put this around the edge of your nail, paint your nails and then you peel it off and you don't have any of the nail varnish around your nails on like the skin or anything so it's really easy to clean up and I think that cost me two to three pound and I got Hannah one of them for Christmas as well so we can both try it out together. Something that I got a very very long time ago and I have saved this for Christmas and still to this day I've never tried. It's from Lush and it's their tea tree water which is meant to help with oily or spot prone skin my skin is really bad recently, it's my own fault because I've not been looking after it but it is really oily as well so I'm hoping this will help and with it being a spray, because I don't tone, with it being a spray I was thinking maybe that's going to help me start putting some toner on my face. Something else from Lush which is also a bargain because I bought it on Boxing Day. There were some girls that I met on Boxing Day, I don't know if you're watching this video but there's a girl that I met on Boxing Day and I was serving her friend in House of Fraser and she said to me oh, I recognise your voice and I was like, I don't recognise you. 
Um, and she was like, oh no, do you do YouTube videos? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and she's like, that's where I recognise you from. So I didn't actually catch your name, but if you are watching this video, hi, it was, you actually like made my day, you made it worthwhile working on Boxing Day. And like I've told everybody that story now, because I was like, it's the first person to recognise me in person, <laughs> my YouTube channel. So anyways, what I got from Lush is a 500 gram Snow Fairy. I have got one of these off Hannah for Christmas, which is my, what I got for Christmas video. Like I said, it's linked down below. But I love this so much and it goes half price from Boxing Day until it basically sells out. I absolutely love this. Smells like candy floss. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. It was nice to do a haul again because I haven't done one for so long because anything that I have bought, I have put to one side and saved that for Christmas. So now it's my time to finally share them things with you. Like I said, if there's anything you want me to do first impressions on, leave a comment down below and I hope to see you in my next video. Don't forget to hit subscribe and to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, a thumbs down if you didn't. It doesn't bother me at all whether I get thumbs down. I just want to know whether you enjoy it or not so I know to do it more in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys!